Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Santee, can you do a video on the Colt Single Action Army? Mr. No Name 1546. Colt Single Action Army, eh? Oh yeah, we can do that. One of the most recognizable guns from the frontier period is the Colt Single Action Army. We've seen scores of Western stars on the big screen wielding one, as well as photographic evidence proving its widespread use. It wasn't the only revolver in the Old West, and also not the best engineered, but it remains a major icon of the era. Samuel Colt had the patent for the first American revolver in 1836. I am a big, bright, shining star. After that, there was a series of successes and failures for the company, and in 1873, the Single Action Army was born. <laughs> the new design and reliability of this cartridge revolver made it a favorite among military and civilian alike. Heck, it even had a lot of names. A peacemaker, and an equalizer, and a widowmaker. Stop that. Yeah. Um, okay. By the way, you left out hog leg, plow handle, and thumb buster. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. How does it work? Well, unlike double action revolvers, you have to draw back the hammer to fire it. Through a system of mechanics, that action rotates the cylinder which aligns a live cartridge into the firing position. Fanning the gun by holding down the trigger and repeatedly slamming the hammer back was a way to make it shoot really fast, but could break the mechanism. It's also not nearly as accurate as Hollywood would have us believe. The military awarded Colt the contract for their single action and the cavalry model was distributed to soldiers across the country. All were chambered for the 45 caliber cartridge, had one-piece wood grips, a 7.5 inch barrel, plus case hardening on the frame and hammer. In the civilian market, a stock model ran around $17, which at the time was a good deal of money for laborers earning roughly a dollar a day. So the idea of all cowboys carrying them was simply not true. There were cheaper revolvers available if you needed one. This model came with wood grips up until around 1882 when they were replaced with gutta percha, which was a hard rubber similar to today's plastic. One could send money to Colt and have them customize the gun to their liking. Engraving, mother of pearl or ivory grips, nickel finish, cut down barrel, you get the idea. They were offered in a variety of other calibers including 38, 38, 40, 44, 40, 32, 20, and 476 LE to name a few. To list the famous old Westians, yeah that's a new word, who carried the Colt revolver would be an entire video so right now I'm not going to do that. In the late 1890s during the Spanish-American War, Colt refitted the cavalry model with a shorter barrel and a new front sight. Used by the U.S. artillery units, the artillery model was in military use up until some other double actions and the semi-automatic rang in the new era of handgun technology. Fast forward to today when Colt is still manufacturing the iconic six-gun. It's still expensive, which is why there are so many replicas out there. For the price of an automobile, you can purchase an antique single action army that saw use in the 19th century. Somewhere in the 20th century, the slogan, Gun That Won The West, came about. Now there's a lot of conjecture about this, seeing as the Winchester repeating rifle also has bragging rights. But the truth is, there is no gun that won the West. That honor goes to the courageous settlers and trailblazers with their blood, sweat, and tears. Not to be confused with the popular rock band formed in 1967. Well, folks, that's it on the Colt Single Action Army. This is my Single Action Army by Colt. Uh, it's a third generation. It's got stag grips from India, and uh, it's pretty much priceless. It's really expensive, and I love it a lot. So you saw it earlier in the video, and uh, yep. Wow. That is a beautiful gun. Thank you. That's your Colt, right? Yeah, it's, it's my Colt. Yeah. yeah. Right, check it out. Um, I... What? Come on, Sandy. Okay, it's really, really expensive. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I know. Come All on, right. if you uh if you drop it, I'm gonna pluck your mustache hairs out one by one. Do you understand me? Yeah, sure. I'm insured. Okay, no, there you go. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> hey Noah! Look at this. Wow, oh, is yeah. that a real cold? This is a real cold. I've always wanted to see one. Can I touch it? Yeah. Uh, sure, here you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at that. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, no, nice no. balance. Look at that. Oh. Wow, that is nice. That is. Oh, let me see. I, okay. I, I, you know what that trick we've been working on? No, no, yeah. yeah, go out. Okay, okay. Right, go. What, what trick? What trick? Oh, yeah, see, it's a good trick, right? Well, no, wait, a little further. Over there. A little further. No. Over the asphalt. Got to get it going faster. Are you ready? Ah! Are you ready? There we go.
<laughs> hey, you're right. You really did freak out. Oh, yeah, I told you. you would. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Seriously, you better get this thing back to him. Will you do it for me? Huh? There you go.